There's a really cool website called Viral Lemon, and at the top of the page, there's an apps button. So I'll put this link in the video description, and you can turn your photo into a comic, which is pretty cool. So I'm just gonna scroll down. You can see there's a big yellow photo button. I'm gonna click on that. And then I've got some pictures here that we can try. I'm gonna pick Hunky Guy first, and he's gonna load up. Now there's ads that could run on this page. So if you have an ad blocker set up, which I do, that usually helps a lot. If not, you may see ads pop up. So there's the picture, it looks pretty good. It's a little bit fuzzy here at the top, but that's okay. I mean, it's supposed to be like a watercolor and it's really neat how they've put the background in with a comic book panel. So again, your results may vary depending on the picture. Let's try a lady this time. I just wanted to mention too, this Photo Lab app is available on my iPad as well. So if you have a mobile device, it could be a good option too. I'll click the photo button, and this time we'll select the lady. And I'll be honest, I'm glad sometimes when things don't work perfectly because I feel like sometimes videos only show you all the positives. So here's an example of where the computer's not really smart enough, unless you like this sort of thing, but it looks like she's got war paint on and somebody smacked her in the forehead, which is not really the look that I was going for. So you can tell the computer's having a bit of difficulty determining the differences in color. So not a great one in this case. Let's see how well it does with landscapes. So I'm gonna go to try again scroll on down, select my photo button, and I'm gonna pick my mountainous landscape. And you can see here the AI did not detect a face and therefore it was not able to slap it onto the background of a comic book. So it is smart enough to try to at least recognize faces. So I'm on a site here called Pexels where I grab the free stock photos. I do wanna point out typically what works best is if you've got a flat background. So if you're taking a picture of yourself, then you may wanna just have a flat background in there instead of say a nature background. I'm gonna download this image and we'll give this a try. I do wanna point out as this thing's counting down that I don't see anything on Viral Lemon that says you can't use your images that you create for any sort of commercial purposes. So here's another example of where it seems to be struggling with the actual face and it's turning it blue. So if, I mean, if that's the look you're going for, great, but otherwise this isn't really ideal. I'm gonna try one last example and it's gonna be a black and white photo. We'll see if that maybe makes a difference. Okay, so here's our example. I actually don't mind this one. A little bit of blue here over on the right-hand side. And I do like the way it sort of looks like it's actually been drawn. So again, everyone's entitled to their opinion. You may think this looks terrible. I would actually don't mind this, especially if you recognize the person. If this is your friend or something, they might think that's pretty cool. Anyway, it's a free app. You might wanna give it a try. I can't like strongly recommend it, but it's fun and it's free. So anyway, give it a shot if you have a couple uh, minutes to kill. Thanks a lot for watching. Here's another video on how you can have some fun with some more free stuff.